today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this cute little graphic for coronavirus. So it's been a while since I came back and I just wanted to, um, you know, do something that is actually relatable to what's going on out there in the world. So maybe this can be useful for some of you guys later on. So let's begin by going to the circle tool. We're just going to create a circle and I'm going to keep this white. I'm going to create some other shapes. So go to your rectangle tool and I will, let's see, I'm going to do this white little bar, little, little bar. I'm going to keep the second one a little bit longer. Group it together. Once this is grouped, uh, I'm just going to see how it looks. Center it. Okay, I think it's fine. Okay. And now, just remember, you can like curve the edges, do whatever you want with it. In order to rotate this, we're going to be using our transform tool or panel. So for that, I'm just going to create a little circle underneath my shape. I'm going to group it together, so right click and group. Once I have that, you need to go to your effects panel, go to distort and transform, and click transform. You'll see this little panel. Ignore everything above on top for now. We'll just look at the bottom right here. Make sure you click on this bottom square. That'll represent that how your circle is going to rotate from. So this will be your focal point if you click the square on the bottom. So now we're going to create copies. So let's say I want 13 copies. And then now you would go to your angle. So angle, if you don't want to do the math, you can simply type 360 360 degrees divided by 13, whatever your copy is. Once you do that, hit preview and you'll get a shape like this. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of that. And now what I'll do is take my shape. So this is how you can move it around too. So take my shape and I'm try I'm gonna try to center it. Make sure your smart guides are on so it's easier for you to uh, find the center location so if I let's say double click on my T shape I'm gonna go into my isolate mode and if you bring this on top all the other shapes are gonna expand so this is a, one of the coolest thing that Illustrator does is that you don't have to individually um, rotate or you know space out the shape it'll it does that for you so once I have this, I can, and if you want to, let's say, uh, distort the shape, if you do it on one, it'll do on the other ones too. In order to combine these two shapes, I'll go to object and expand appearance, select everything, go to my properties panel, and I'll click on this pathfinder the solid shape so it'll merge everything together for you how easy it is so now we can create rest of the image I'm going to center this and I'm going to copy I'm going to keep this a little bit smaller and let's see I'm going to color this change the color to a little bit of darker blue just so we have the effect of some darkness set it up i'm going to create another copy keep this one a little bit smaller so it looks cute okay right so have this now i'll write some text whoops so COVID-19 and I'm going to just select a type, color blue, 
center it and da -da 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 -da. okay i'm going to center this thing out all right cover 19 i'm going to make this a little bit bigger okay so here is your image i'm just going to center it out a little bit okay so here's your cute little covid image hopefully i matched it to my no this color is darker <laughs> okay i did it wrong okay let's it's fine i guess it's fine <laughs> all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it thumbs up uh, leave a comment down below whatever you want to see next let me know and follow me on my Instagram, Design Logic. See you guys next time. Thank you.